There is so much mixed messages on YouTube. It's so annoying. Just got back from the gym. Today was pull, push, pull, pull day. Bent over rows, lat pull down, dumbbell bent over rows, face pulls, easy bar curls, and seated curls, dumbbell curls. Now I'm gonna make a little breakfast. I pre-cook my breakfast. This is some eggs and ground round. I had gotten it from uh, Reesers. They had their meat sale. They always have, every now and then they have a big meat sale. So you get, some of them are like a dollar or two. Well, maybe not quite $2 a pound off. It's about a dollar a pound. Some of them are like 40 cents a pound. So, but I kind of stock up on it, which I think is a good thing. So I heat up or warm up my air fryer. I always change the different settings as far as temperature. Now my air fryer doesn't start cooking. It actually has like a warm up setting or it warms up first and then it'll tell you to add the food, which is nice. The air fryer at my girlfriend's house um, is one where if you put 15 minutes, it'll only cook for 15 minutes. It won't warm up and then cook for 15 minutes. So I like to set, like if I'm gonna cook something for 15 minutes, I'll put it for 18 minutes or 17 minutes, give it like two minutes to warm up and then I'll put the food in at the 15 minute mark. Today, will be about day 36, I think, 37, of following a carnivore type eating. Now I have had a few days in between where, like for my job, I did a food video where we went to a burger place and I ate two bites of the bun and then got rid of the bun and ate the meat and it had cheese and meat and chili on it. So that would be off the carnivore diet and then on day 30, on day 30 of the carnivore day, the actual day 30, I we went to a barbecue place, Burn Co. in Jenks, very good, and I had a sandwich called the Fatty Burger, and it was a ground beef patty, like a half a pound, and then a third a pound of their fatty, which is, if I remember right, it was pork with some kind of hot sausage and some other meats all compressed into a patty. It was delicious, it was so good. But I took a few bites of the bun thinking I would take out the bun, but when I took out the bun and was just eating the meat, it was the flavor was so rich that the bun helped kind of calm down the flavor and it was a great mix. So I was like, you know what, it's day 30, let me just eat. So I ate the whole thing uh, with the bun and they had a uh, fried potato salad. I was like, I wanna try that. So I tried that fried potato salad. I didn't eat all of it. It had bits of brisket in it, which was nice, but I ate probably half of the potatoes in there. It was pretty good. But what I was getting at as far as being on day 37 is there is so much mixed messages on YouTube. It's so annoying. You got Paul Saladino that started Carnivore Diet, wrote the book Carnivore Cord, and then just recently started adding fruits back to his diet. You got Sean Baker that says it probably is good for you. He doesn't know certain things, but he's been on it for going on seven years and he stands behind it like he puts his patients on carnivore diet. Hold on, let me put the food in here. So I'm going to put this in the air fryer to warm up. So yes, yeah, so Sean Baker, which I follow him, you know, he still says carnivore diet's great. He still eats meat only, but then he says, I think he said he was like 98% because every now and then he'll you know, if he's at a birthday party or if he's out somewhere, he'll enjoy a great meal. He'll enjoy something that's not quite carnivore, but he eats all meat. Paul Saladino's now called meat-based, where he eats all a bunch of meat, but then he also eats some fruits, but it's all stuff that he gets from where he's in Costa Rica. Now, he's been traveling doing videos, so obviously he's not getting it from there. All right, so we take this out, and we put, look at that, all that goodness. Oh, some of it dropped on the floor. Yes, so good. So again, this is ground round with some egg. And I think that's it. I didn't put any cheese in this one. It's all a bit annoying. All a bit annoying to try to figure out. And I know I just need to like figure out for myself what works for me, but I don't want to get six months down the road on carnivore and realize that it wasn't good for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's good. But I know that when I was doing counting calories, that was kind of messing with my head way too much. Just trying to count every calorie, trying to count every calorie. I tried to make the same meals routine, but sometimes the recipe would be a little bit different when I wanted to pre-cook. Um, so I'd have to create a new recipe and that just became such an ordeal. And then when you go out to eat, how do you track what you go out to eat? So the, I thought maybe my thinking is, is that eating like this was a little bit more relaxed as far as not having to track calories and just eat enjoying food, eating meat, 
Eating eggs would be great. And it's good, it is easy. It is easy just for eat this, eggs and ground around. For lunch, I'll have some ground beef and then for dinner, I'll have a steak. I don't have to think about it, I just gotta cook it. Of course, breakfast and lunch is already pre-made, pre which is nice. I guess what I need to stop doing is I need to just stop listening to podcasts and, or maybe pick one or two that I, uh, um, that isn't so much like you have to do this. This is the only way. But people that are like, listen to your body and try this and see what this, and this is what I found, like Sean Baker or even Paul Saladino, how they're, you know, they're just, they're learning, they're figuring it out. And then they're sharing that what they, what they learn. So who do you follow? If you're on this type of carnivore diet, or if you're doing any other type of routine or diet, who do you like to listen to? Who's someone that you listen to their advice and you believe them and you trust them? Let me know in the comments who you follow, because I really could use some help in that area. You ever make something that doesn't look appealing, but tastes fantastic? So this is, I did some ground round and I did a smash where I did like a pound of ground round and I put it in my cast iron skillet and then I took another pan and I just smashed it as much as I could. Not quite super smash, but it kind of, it gets that kind of little bit of crispiness around the edges and I really like it. And I put some cheese on it. And I put this one, I put some mozzarella cheese on it with a pepperoni on it just for some flavoring, some different flavoring. And it has bacon mixed into the ground round. But it doesn't look very good. Like, that doesn't look very appealing. Maybe it does to you, I don't know. But it's like, <laughs> it's just like a hodgepodge of meat. But oh man, is it delicious. Mm, I like it.